Dr. William Davis here, author of the Wheat Belly and Undoctored Books. I say wheat is sugar because even though we've been told by dietary guidelines, dietitians, and others that we should eat whole grains or grains every meal, every day, every snack, what they failed to recognize is that wheat and related grains have amylopectin A. And what amylopectin A is, it's a complex, meaning branching, carbohydrate. And so they say it's better because it's complex, not a simple sugar like sucrose, table sugar. What they failed to recognize, though, is that amylopectin A is unique among carbohydrates. It's highly susceptible to digestion by the enzyme amylase. Amylase is in your saliva, it's in your stomach, so that if you put some bread, whole grain, doesn't matter, white, doesn't, no difference, in your mouth, start to chew, your blood sugar goes up. That's how fast it can go up. And of course, when you swallow it as a sandwich or a bagel or whatever, your blood sugar goes sky high. And all the consequences of having high blood sugar, high insulin, over time, insulin resistance, provocation of small LDL particles that leads to heart disease, increased triglycerides, uh, fatty liver, etc., inflammation. So wheat and related grains are essentially abundant sources of sugar. That's why I tell people two slices of whole wheat bread raise blood sugar higher than six teaspoons of table sugar. So for all practical purpose in diet, wheat and grains are sugars. It's not just about gluten. It's about all the other things in wheat and grains, including the amylopectin A that's worse than table sugar.